Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So today I figured I would bring you guys a little review of my 2019. So I wanted to bring you guys the top 10 books that I read in 2019. So I had set a goal for myself to read 40 books in the year of 2019 and I read 39 books. <laughs> I was on the path, I was like ahead of schedule and everything according to Goodreads on hitting my goal and surpassing it but then <laughs> in the month of October I read a lot of books the last book that I read was The Shining by Stephen King and I absolutely hated it so much I hated that book um, it didn't scare me it I really really feel like Stephen King is racist I know people have said that before I know there's a controversy with Stephen King you either love him or you hate him but your girls on the hate side not not really a fan and I've been interested in other books by him but people always say to start with The Shining and because I was so disappointed with The Shining I feel like I just cannot continue on with any of his books I just don't think I'm gonna be a Stephen King fan which is fine I know not a lot of people read Stephen King I just was not a fan it didn't scare me I felt like it was a little racist and then just that it just it was terrible so after reading that book it put me in a reading slump a terrible reading slump I read one book in the month of November and one book in the month of December so those made me get to my 39 and I just never hit my 40 just because I just was in such a slump I had no interest in any books at all because I was just so mad that I had read The Shining and it made me mad I almost DNF'd it but I was like no I'm gonna finish this just to say that I've read a Stephen King book and it just just it was terrible but we're gonna move on from that so if I were to make a list of my worst books of 2019 The Shining by Stephen King would have to be number one because I just was so mad but at least I can say I have read a Stephen King book so I can judge by saying I don't enjoy his writing we'll just go with that but on to the good news I wanted to talk about the top 10 books that I did read in 2019 these were my favorites that I read that I loved some of them I annotated some of them I just could not get over I just loved them so I wanted to talk about these and have some good news from the year of 2019 because even though I didn't hit my reading goal I did read some great books so let's go ahead and talk about them I did kind of number these but I was just kind of making a number list so we'll just go from 10 down to one that I wrote down so for number 10 this book I believe I read this in January of last year either January or February I can't remember it was early in the year um, and I had been waiting for this book and I picked it up and I was very excited about it and I actually really really enjoyed it and that is Zenith and this is by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings this is the first book in the Androma saga um, now I found out that Nexus which is book two is the final book in this I thought this is gonna be like a series but apparently it's just a duology I'm not sure what happened there I don't know if plans changed or if I just heard wrong but there's only two books so I do need to pick up book two but I really really did enjoy this one this is a sci-fi book um, and it's basically about this girl who worked for the king and then she was basically banished because the the princess died I don't know some things happen and I don't know it was a really good story I really really did enjoy it um, I read along to this one while I listened to the audiobook um, but again it was still very good I really really did enjoy it and I highly recommend this one um, and I can't wait to pick up book two so hopefully I can find it this year so number nine on my list this one I also read early on in the year either in February I think I want to say I read this one in February um, and I really really did enjoy this um, and that is going to be The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory um, I have to say this was basically like my first introduction into like adult romance kind of smutty books and I really enjoyed it actually it actually kind of made me laugh it was a really really cute story so this is about a girl oh geez I don't remember their names but I loved it Alexa Alexa and Drew so Alexa is staying at this hotel and Drew is there and he is going to be in this wedding They get stuck in an elevator. He doesn't have a date to the wedding and he asked her to be his date and then Things just blossom from there and it was really really cute. I really really enjoyed this 
Um, there are more books in this series that have come out. They're like companion books that I need to pick up. I've only read this one, but I really, really did enjoy it and I loved it. I highly, highly recommend this one. This one was kind of like a fake dating to lovers kind of story, but it was super cute. So I definitely, definitely recommend this one. Pick it up if you haven't. I mean, I know they're like on like book four in this already, but pick it up if you haven't read it. <laughs> Okay, so for book number, what is this, eight? Yes, book number eight on my list. Um, this one, I just thought it was cute, <laughs> but it is going to be The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. So this was another introduction. Actually, I, I think this is my second book by them that I've read, and I really, really enjoyed this one. So this one is like fake uh, what is this like fake dating? Well, not technically fake dating, I guess kind of fake dating to lovers, like enemies to lovers kind of thing. So this is about, I see, I, I'm terrible with names, Olive and Ethan, Olive and Ethan, that's their names. So Olive is the maid of honor in her sister's wedding, her twin sister's wedding. And Ethan is the best man and they kind of hate each other. And, uh, everyone at the wedding gets food poisoning except for them and they end up having to go on the honeymoon for their sister and brother. Ethan is the brother of the groom. And yeah, they kind of hate each other, but they kind of make things work because the honeymoon is non-refundable. And then, you know, a love blossoms from there kind of thing. It's one of those stories. But it was really cute. It kind of had some twists in it that you didn't expect to see. Um, but I really, really did enjoy this. I really do love Christina Lauren's books. So this was a good one. All right, you guys are going to see a pattern. I read a lot of adult romances in the year 2019. So for book number seven, this is another one that I read. I read this one for contemporary -thon round five, I think it was. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this one. That is Intercepted by Alexa Martin. So this is a football romance book. Um, and this is about Marley. <laughs> Um, and Marley and Gavin, that's who it is. So Marley is dating a guy in the NFL. They've been dating since like high school. She finds out he's been cheating on her and so they break up and then she starts seeing the new quarterback of the team who she had had a thing with like a couple of years back and it's just a cute little football romance story. It kind of reminds me of the TV show, The Game. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. There are two more books in this series as well, like companion books that I need to pick up, but I really, really did enjoy this one. I love football, I love romance books, and they just they just mesh so well together. So it was really good. If you love football, I would highly, highly recommend picking this one up. All right, number six is actually a reread for me, but it's something that I haven't read since I was a kid, and I had been wanting to reread it for the longest time, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, and that is The Phantom Tollbooth, and this is by Norton Jester. This book is so, so good. I absolutely love everything about this book. It is so amazing. Um, when I was in the fifth grade, I actually read this book and we had to do a project on it and I actually made this dog out of clay. The dog with the clock, his name is Talk, Pick, Talk. His name is Talk. His name is Talk. <laughs> um, but I just love this and I feel like this is a great book for like learning in a sense the word patterns and just the writing of this is just amazing and I I really hope this is still a recommended read for kids because it's such a good book I I, I love it and I'm so glad I read it as a kid and I'm so glad I read it now as an adult and I want to pass this along to my kids one day and I hope this book stays around for a long long time because it is so good and I feel like you can learn so much from this book so if you haven't read this or if you have kids or you know some younger people in your life highly highly recommend this book for them it is so good it's so educational and it's it's a fun read it really is and I'm so so glad I read it again as an adult it's amazing if, if I was a teacher if I was an English teacher I would I would make this one of my required reads because it's it's just that good it really is I really feel like everybody should read this book it's amazing <laughs> okay so book number five this was the start of a series for me for the year 2019 and I'm so glad I read it um, this was actually recommended to me by a co-worker and I'm so glad she recommended it to me and now I'm obsessed with the series <laughs> um, and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake this is about three triplets who, um, when they turn 17, I believe, they are finding it out to become the queen. They basically have to kill the other two to get the crown. And so many things happen. There's so many twists. And they have, they have like a witchcraft basically to each one of them. And it's just so good. I was so 
into this story. I hadn't read a fantasy book in so long that had caught my attention like this one did. And it was so amazing. I loved it. And I instantly moved on to One Dark Throne after it. And I just, I love it. I highly, highly recommend this book series. It is so so good and you guys will see in my book haul that I actually have the last two books in the series now too so I just cannot wait to finish the series and see where it ha what happens and where it goes and I'm excited I just I cannot wait okay so book number four so this one I really really loved and unexpectedly loved this book um, this was my first introduction to this author and I'm so, so glad that I read this book. I, I just, wait, was this the first one? Actually, I don't know. Never mind. But I love this book and it was, it was just so good. <laughs> um, but it is Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. So again, this is another adult romance. This one's a bit smutty and I just really enjoyed it. I loved, loved the main character. What's his name? What? Bennett, right? What's his first name? Bennett Ryan. Bennett Ryan. Bennett Ryan was probably my favorite character of all books that I read in 2019. I don't know why. I just loved this story. This was kind of a hate to lovers kind of story too, but it was very good. Again, very smutty. It was, more sm it was the most smut I've ever read in a book before, but besides the smut, the storyline actually was pretty good to me, and that's why I really loved it. I know people are going to be like, oh, she liked it because it's money. No, I really did. Um, I just really loved it, and I just love Bennett Ryan. I think he's like he's like the jerk that you kind of love kind of thing. I don't know. But it was a really, really good story, and this is a whole series, too. It's like the whole beautiful series. I have two other books in the series that I haven't read yet, but this one I loved. Clearly, I tabbed it. I don't, I don't annotate books. I don't, I don't tab books a lot, but I did it with this one. I really enjoyed this one. So I would highly recommend this one if you are a fan of Christina Lauren and adult romance and smut and whatever. I highly recommend this one. Pick it up. All right. So number three, this was kind of an unexpected love for me as well. I had told myself that I wasn't going to read anything by this author. And I ended up picking up this book and I read it and I fell in love and now I can't wait to finish the series. Um, but that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I loved this book and I was just kind of in like awe reading it. Like the things that were happening were very unexpected to me, um, but it was very good. This is like a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but with Faye and I just loved it. And... I, I cannot wait to read the next book. I You guys saw in my book haul that I did pick up A Court of Mist and Fury, which is book two in this. And I just loved this book. I had started tabbing it and then I gave up just because I was like, there's too much going on. I don't know what to do. And so I just kept on reading without tabbing. But I love this. I would not mind rereading this book and it's just really good. Now I feel bad now because I've read this series and I have not picked up um, Throne of Glass, which I do own the first book in that series. I just haven't read it. And I just feel like there's so many books in that. Like, do I want to invest in it? But if I'm investing, investing in this series, that clearly means I like her writing. So I feel like I will like Throne of Glass. So I probably need to read it. But I loved this one. Cannot wait to get to book two. Highly recommend if you have not read it. I know some people don't love this series, but I personally did. So I, I would recommend this book to people. So yeah. All right, so book number two. So I have been making a goal for like the past five years to finish the Harry Potter series. I had only read through book four, which is Goblet of Fire. And this year, well, this past year in 2019, I decided that I was going to finish the book series. I didn't actually finish, but I did get through book six. And I am currently reading book number seven. Um, but one of those books just caught my attention. I fell in love with it. Absolutely loved it. It is my favorite of the series. And I will forever reread it. And that is going to be book number five, which is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I don't have a dust jacket on this one because I picked it up at a clearance sale. But I loved this book. I feel like Harry was going through so, so much in this book. This was after the Triwizard Tournament and Sirius was in his life and just so many things were happening I feel like in this book and I felt like I just wanted to hug Harry the whole time 
and I don't know I just feel like everything like intensifies and builds up in this book to get you ready for Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hallows but I feel like this book is so important and I feel like this one kind of gets pushed to the side like like even on TV like when Freeform does the Harry Potter marathons I feel like they rarely show Order of Phoenix which doesn't make any sense to me but I feel like this was my least watched movie of all of them but now I feel like I'm gonna rewatch it so many times because I fell in love with the story you know they always say the book is better than the movie and I have to agree with that for the Order of the Phoenix I loved this book and I'm so mad that it took me so long to get to it and read it but it is amazing again if you haven't read the Harry Potter series which I'm probably the only person in the world that has not um, but if you haven't read them highly highly recommend them and you will probably love the Order of Phoenix I hope people love it as much as I do I know a lot of people say that Gobble the Fire is their favorite and I've got to say it was not one of mine it was good I mean they're all good they're all amazing I give them all five stars but I truly 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 loved the Order of the Phoenix it is it is my favorite in the series hands down it really is all right, and my number one book that I read in 2019, I was obsessed with this book. I loved it so much. I read it so fast, and I was constantly, constantly talking about it with people and highly recommending it to people, and I just absolutely love it. And that is One Dark Throne by Kendra Blake. So this is book two in the Three Dark Crown series. I was obsessed. I was writing notes on this. I was talking about it. I was telling everyone I could about this book. I loved it. And the best part about me reading this book is I posted a picture of it with my notes on my um, bookstagram, which I will link down below. And Kendar Blake commented on the picture on my post and I lost my mind. I tagged her in it and I was just like, oh, I want to thank Kendar Blake for writing this. It was amazing. And she saw it and she commented back and it was the best day ever. <laughs> I've never had any like real interaction with authors. I've never been to like a book signing or anything like that. So for that to happen, for her to notice me, for her to comment back on my post was the most amazing thing in the world and I loved it. I was obsessed. This book is so, so good. This series is so amazing. I truly, truly recommend this series. Just There's so much that happens. And it's just a crazy world and it's amazing it's it's amazing I, I don't know what else to say about it it's amazing I highly recommend it please 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 pick this up in Kenar Blake you are amazing thank you so much for commenting on my post you made my day you made my year it was amazing it was great it really was great and I loved it but again I'm just I'm, I'm just rambling at this point but I highly 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 recommend this series it is so good Okay, guys, so those are the top 10 books that I read in the year of 2019. If you guys read any of them, let me know down below what you guys thought of them. You guys can see I absolutely love them. Some of them I was a bit speechless about. I didn't know what to say because I just enjoyed them that much. But they were so good. It was a great, great reading year. I'm so excited for my reading for 2020. I've set a higher goal for myself. I plan on reading 50 books in the year of 2020. Fingers crossed that I can do it. I feel like I can. I really feel like I can do it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.